Believe it or not, New Zealand has around 36 species of native fish. And no, I'm not talking about trout or salmon. The problem with our fish is they tend to be small, sneaky and hard to find. So Doc uses a pretty ingenious way of finding them. Electric fishing. And it works a treat. electric fishing? Electric fishing is a technique used for research uh, that basically puts electricity into the water to stun the fish. It's done using this uh, backpack electric fishing machine and basically the current goes down into the water and any fish in that field will get stunned. What about you guys? We've got rubber gum boots, rubber gloves and also we have to be trained to make sure that we know the, the safety rules and abide by them. Okay, well shall we get down the, the yeah, bank sure. and uh, gonna, get stuck in? Go and have a look. Why are we interested in what's in the water? Well because part of our job is to look after freshwater fish. And, and to find out what's in the water, we need to do that somehow and electric fishing is actually a really effective technique to, to do that. We've got a long fin eel, that's this, uh, this fish here. Long fin eels are yep. New Zealand's only native species of eel in that they are only found in New Zealand, they're really ancient species of eel. There's a short fin eel. And we've also got in this tray here, this is a um, the torrent fish. If you're a fish nerd, this is exciting stuff. It's um, actually related to the blue cod, believe it or not. It's really adapted to living in fast water. Look at those, those big front fins, really help it kind of hold itself on the bottom in fast water. And like a lot of the um, native freshwater fish, they spawn in fresh water. The little, the little larvae hatch out and drift out to sea, then come back in the springtime and then, you know, rear in fresh water and grow up into the adult fish. We've got some enunga. Yep. If you're eating a white bait patty, the young of this fish um, would make up most of that patty, if you like. It's the most, most common of the white bait species. And is he full size? Uh, that's pretty much full size. They do get bigger than that, but it's good to see so many fish in a, in a stream in an urban setting. The amazing thing about what we've found here today is that we are smack bang in the middle of central Nelson, we're surrounded by houses and yet we got a huge variety of water wildlife here so that's a good sign for the health of the river. We'll put them back and let them go about their business and live to fight another day. <laughs> <laughs>